Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks or Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is paths from root with a specified sum and it is a medium level problem. So this problem is very straightforward and it says that we have been given a binary tree and a sum value s. We have to print all the paths starting from root that sum up to the given sum and the path may not end on a leaf node. So it is not necessary for a path to go all the way down it can also be in between right the only condition is it should start from the root node so for example if our sum is 8 one of the valid parts is 1 3 and 4 because it is starting from root and the whole sum is 8 here right now one more all one more thing to consider is that the values can also be negative so that means if you encounter a sum at any particular position it is very well possible that you encounter the same sum again later in the same path right so this is one thing that I wanted to tell you. So this problem is a simple uh, maintaining the sum uh, problem. Uh, I'm not uh, sure if that is a uh, actual name, but I'll tell you what we have to do here. So let's say this is a tree. Now what you can do is we can just start traversing from the root node and just make a simple traversal through the tree, right? So the traversal can be in any order and you just have to make a simple DFS through the whole tree. Now what we do is, let's say this is A, B, C, D, E, F and G, right. Now what I am going to do, I am going to maintain a current sum, current sum let's say it is initialized with 0 and I am going to maintain a path vector, right. So when I visit the first root node, my current sum will be equals to A and my path vector will now have the element A, right. Now, when I go move on to the left subtree, what I can do is I can change my current sum to a plus b and change my path vector to a, a comma b. So basically, you see at the same time I have two information: one, what is the current sum, and second, what is the current path that I have traversed till now. Right. Similarly, when I move on to element c, I increment the current sum by c and I push back c to the end of the vector. Now you see that I have no further places to go from C so I will have to go back to B. While coming back to B I have to make sure that it is removed that particular C element is removed from both current sum as well as my path vector. So I can subtract this particular value from the current sum and I can pop back this particular element from my vector right. Now when I move on to the right to element D what I am going to do is I am going to change my current sum to A plus B plus D and after A and B D will be here in my path vector. So in a way when I visit each and every node I will have what is the current sum starting from the root node to that particular node and what is the path that I have followed till that particular node and if at any state if my current sum if my current sum is equal to the required sum right I can just push back this particular path in my answer vector right. So this is the only thing that you will have to do. So this problem was in and all very very simple. You just have to traverse the whole tree and with this particular technique you will be able to maintain uh, the current sum as well as the path from root node to each of these nodes and if at any point the current sum becomes equal to the required sum we just push back the current path into our answer vector. So it is somewhat similar to what we do in backtracking. We add a particular option and when we come back after traversing we remove that particular option. So as you can see the code is very very simple as well. I have initialized my double dimensional vector called answer and I have initialized a vector called path. So both of them are empty. Now I call my DFS with the root node and the current sum being 0. Now uh, inside my DFS if my node is equal to null pointer I am just going to return. Otherwise what I am going to do I am just going to add the current value to my current sum and push it back into my path vector. Now if my current sum becomes equal to the sum, I am just going to push back this particular path vector into my answer vector and just simply call DFS on the left and DFS on the right. When I come back from this particular node, I will have to subtract this particular value from my current sum and just pop the path vector, uh, last element from the path vector. So this is how you can basically solve this problem and this is a very straightforward solution. So let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular solution works. So you see this passes all the test cases and this solution is absolutely correct 
I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really, really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.